I don't know if you decide to become an artist, but when I was in high school, I had a very good art teacher who encouraged me, and I spent all my spare time, I guess, in the art room, and he told me that I had a certain amount of talent and I could uh, pursue it. When I came out of art school, like everybody else, I worked as a graphic artist, but I only worked for about two years. And then I just decided that that wasn't what I wanted to do and I started to paint. And at the beginning, it was real tough, you know, and I, do, I went through all these different styles. I lived in the country, I went through this country thing, and then at one point I went to Europe, I spent two years traveling, and that completely changed what I was doing. And then when I came back, I left the country, I moved to the city, and I started working with galleries. And then from that stage on, I went through different phases where I did different themes, a complete series of paintings on different themes, which brought me right up to the present day where I'm just doing all sorts of different things at the moment. I'm not doing a specific topic. But on the other hand, it's sort of a, everything that I've done before is, is shows up in what I'm doing now. Card! Come on in. We'll watch for the shovel here. So you said you have something new to show me. Yeah, come on in. I'm just working here. Got the gallery all hung up nice, look. Oh, this is different. Yes, this, yeah. is, uh, this is the new stuff I'm working yeah, on. This is very nice. It is certainly different, and it shows you a new aspect. It's this new style I'm it's working nice. on. It's nice. You've got a little bit of mosaic type of uh, work in there. That's yeah, this new yeah. impressionistic yeah. sort of yeah. thing I'm yeah. working yeah. on. It's, you know. quite, it's, so. it's, it's okay. good. It's good. Well, uh, of course, you know I prefer the, these things. <laughs> Well, that's that's yeah. you know that's because that's yeah. what you know of mine. You that's know, but right. Now but it's, I uh, find that those are, for me, that's so far has been your best work. Well, it's so far. But has we been have to wait and see what this evolves into. It's a constant artistic that's evolution. True. Exactly. Yeah. I think the greatest thing you can do with a painting is to provoke a strong reaction, and that piece it definitely provokes either one way or another a very strong reaction. What I particularly find interesting in his work is. He doesn't stick to one particular subject. He likes to do series. He did a number of different series. As you know, he did a series uh, on, with the carnivals and with the uh, midways. And then he did another series of night paintings. And he doesn't exactly do what people expect him to do. This piece here was part of the night series that I also did. Uh, this was one of those uh, pieces when I talked about the urban angst. This piece uh, does definitely does not match anyone's couch or wallpaper, and most people probably wouldn't hang it. Uh, I think it's it, at, uh, up to that point. It, had, it was the biggest painting I had ever done. It took me. I called it at one point a lifetime project, and that, the actual title of this piece is called Tourist Attraction because you can see there's a tourist place here, and the title itself again is very ambiguous as to exactly what is the tourist attraction in the piece itself. If I did match the sofa and the wallpaper, I'd probably sell a lot more paintings. But my paintings have never been what anybody would call decorative. Some of my paintings are actually quite disturbing. You know, I mean, they might, I, I consider them very nice pieces. They're very strong pieces. They provoke a very strong reaction. But they're not, maybe it's not something you want to have to look at every day hanging over the fireplace, unless you're really an art collector and you really see, see it for what it is. These pieces here are, uh, are all done as part of a trip that I did th two years ago when I went back to Europe. I spent three weeks in France, and it's all different places where I drove around on the coast. And these were all done on location when I was there. I did them all in watercolors and pens, and then I came back and I redid them all over in acrylics on top of it. And there, there are boats and the street scenes and cafe scenes. He sees the light, and he's capturing the light here that, that's in another country. In Montreal, we have uh, bright summers, we have uh, sunny days, so you blue skies and, and such, but it's not the same light that you're going to have in Cuba or in France. Uh, there's a certain light that you, f you see and feel when you're in different cities. It's not the same. There's, there's subtle differences. So when Dwight, what he's done here is you immediately sense that this is a warm climate. This is maybe Cuba, maybe France. It's, there's something here that, that when you travel around, you, you can recognize it. And the fact that he's traveling and, and going to all these places and, and feeling and sensing what's happening there, that comes across in the artwork. When I'm traveling and when I'm somewhere else, if I can sit in the street and draw, 
I'll do it because that's really what I want to do. But the bigger pieces that I've done, a lot of the times when I'm working in the studio, are done from other references, like from photo references and stuff. I can't sit in the, in the middle of the street and do a big painting. You know, I can sit in the middle of the street and do a small painting, and then I can take it, and sometime I can do a big painting. I know that when I take it home, I can correct. If I need to, I can, I can adjust and I can correct it, as long as I have a, enough information to work from. You know, if I make, I mean, I never draw in pencil anymore. I don't bring a pencil with me. I, I haven't drawn a pencil in years. I draw with a pen, you know, right, right on the, right on the, whatever I'm working on. I, I don't care if I make a mistake. If I make a mistake, I make a mistake. These are, these are preliminary sketches. I mean, I haven't picked up a pencil and, you know, I'll go out in the street and just start drawing with a pen. I think for me, the greatest reward I have is that I can make a living as an artist and I can still be a nice person. You know, I see all these documentaries on artists, like, you know, I saw the film about Jackson Pollock and I saw these films. I mean, these people were great artists, but they just weren't very nice people, you know? And, and I think for me, the most important thing is I can paint. I have this wonderful life, which I feel. I, have, I always say I'm, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. And for me, that's the greatest reward of being an artist. <laughs>